Hello killers and crafters, my name is Rusty Paul and this is my solo stealth based tutorial design. This base design has taken inspiration from Swaggy the Fox's base design. If you haven't seen his, I've left a link in the description. He has some good base building tutorials on his channel. I've basically just tried to take the design further, altered it to my liking and tried to optimize it to use less resources while trying not to lose too much of the storage space. This base design came about because I play Rust solo and as you know this is very hard to do without getting raided. So hopefully you guys who also play solo will appreciate this kind of base. It relies heavily on tricking any passing players into thinking that it has already been raided and it is good practice to try and hide the stealth entrance behind at least a bush but even better a bush and some good rocks. So location is key here guys. So here I've searched the map for a great location. I've got my nice big bush but not only that, the added bonus of a rock for extra cover. I'm building not too close to any monuments or rad towns so hopefully any passing players will only be fresh spawns or players on a farming run. So let's get started. First off, start off with a triangle foundation inside the bush and then another one to the side. Really important to check that nothing's fouling up this next square foundation so as you can see there the rock was going to be in the way. So let's start again, triangle but go the other way this time. So two triangle foundations. That's it. And another one. Then check to make sure nothing's fouling. That looks good. So select steps. And then just check you can build around that rock there. Awesome. So what we want here is five triangle foundations. So that's three, four, five then two square foundations either side and then switch back to triangles if it'll let me go that's it and now we're just going to delete this one for now and make it on this level just so that we can do the uh, the walls okay so we'll select walls and we're just going all the way around the first level here with a couple of doorways in between I'm just going to remove one of the walls here to tie in with it looking raided and then remove this triangle foundation next to the bush and add a new one at the bottom level. Now it's definitely worthwhile here just to come outside and double check that your stealth entrance looks good from the outside because if not it's kind of a waste of time but that looks pretty perfect so we're going to carry on add some foundation steps here upgrade them all and then upgrade all the walls so notice here i'm not upgrading the stone or just the wood it's just to give it the impression that a noobs built it from the outside anyway let's start with the main part the important part the walls for the inside you definitely want all these to be stone and you want them all facing the right way which is outside. So let's just zoom out and see how that looks. It looks pretty good. Hopefully you should have something similar. Go ahead and add some more foundation steps to the other side, the other doorway. And then make a start on the roof. So the same layout as the foundations, you want your five triangles, then your three squares in the middle, and five triangles on the other side. I always tend to make the roof metal, it's harder to pick through, and by keeping it all uniform, making the whole lot metal, you're not making it look suspicious from the outside. You know, you haven't just got the centre part where your loot's going to be metal and the rest wood or stone. So, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. And going inside, we'll be able to decorate this later on. Again, you can just do whatever you like really. Just make it look like a rated base. 
So let's head inside, get rid of the foundation steps that we used, and put down a foundation. Again on the bottom level, then you want to upgrade it to stone, and then we want a couple of wall frames. I like to use wall frames just because you can put double doors in and it makes it a little bit easier to get in and out. Upgrade these to metal and then the next step is just to put three triangle floors down. Again upgrade these to metal and that is pretty much the build side of things finished. This is how I like to set out my base. There are probably more efficient ways to use the space, it's up to you really. I know the recent update has stopped the furnaces clipping through walls, which makes it more difficult to fit a lot of them into smaller bases. So once I'm all finished, this is what the inside of my base looks like. So once you've got enough resources, feel free to decorate the outside braided part of the base any which way you see fit. This is how I just do it. A few empty furnaces, a few empty boxes, a sleeping bag, that kind of thing. The only limit here is your imagination. So that is pretty much it. If you want, you could go one step further and add another level to the base. Here I'll show you an example. Because this is not a functioning part of the base, you can just make it up as you go along, and depending on how many resources you're willing to spend. Just make it look like whoever's built it is new to the game. What I mean by this is turn some of the walls the wrong way around, make some stone, some wood, you can even leave some as twig, just to give it that new braided base look, so that any players passing by wouldn't look twice at it. A worst case scenario, they'll pop their head in and have a quick check of the empty chests.
that is how I build my solo stealth base in Rust. I'm new to YouTube and video editing and I hope you guys have found this video helpful. If you have, please leave a like or if not, leave me a comment on what I can improve upon. I hope to make more base building tutorials in the future as I think I have some interesting concepts and ideas I'd like to share with everyone. I'm Rusty Paul and thanks for watching.